this model, the curves model, it's one of those models that is pretty simple if you know how to do it. Uh, I mean, everything is if you know how to do it, but there are certain things you have to do to this model. You have to add a cat vector and you also have to know the cut order. Those are the two most important things. I'm going to show you how to do that, but first, let's start in the machine. Perhaps that was difficult to see in the machine, but what I wanted to illustrate was all of these surfaces right here. The last surface you want to cut is the one that is connecting the top and the bottom uh, sides of the material. Because if you do that, the part will stick to the stock material all the way to the last cut. If you would have cut this thing last, let's say you would cut this thing last, then it would already be loose because you cut this part first. I hope that makes sense. Um, let's have a look in the programming. So this is what our finished product looked like. Um, I have extended this CAD vector right here. So it's extended this line to this surface. Let's look at the curves. Um, so what I usually do is I start with the first cut and the first, the top geometry. So in this case it's gonna be this cut right here. So we start here and we go around like this that's our top geometry and that's extended in this line that we made. The next curve is the bottom curve for that cut. So it goes around again, uh, it follows the top curve. Then we have this curve right here, the top and the matching bottom curve which will be difficult uh, later on, I'll show you that. Um, this curve is our last curve and we're gonna start right here, go around and now this is the important part. This, this and this surface is connected um, to the stock material. And that's why we want to cut these last, because it will hold the part in place. These right here. And we have a matching curve for the bottom right here as well. Notice that we can have different heights to these curves. So they don't have to be on the same plane. Let's jump into our toolpaths. So our first toolpath, if you were to do this, you would experience a problem, which I'll show you right here. Um, we have these, one, two, three. It looked like this when I started. And you can see that there's some kind of error right here. So we have to add connection lines. So I'll, I'll hit plus. Let me just show you where that was. So it's the cut type ruled. I click on edit connections. I hit plus, and that's our top curve. That's our bottom curve. Top curve, bottom curve. I can also go from bottom curve to top curve. 
Click done, close, that looks a lot better. When I did this, the curve was set to left, which if we look at this thing right here, it's gonna be on the inside of the material. If I do this again, it's on the outside. This becomes an issue when our cut is not um, a closed cut. You see, we have two open uh, endpoints here, this and this. So therefore, it doesn't know which side to cut on. Um, that's our first cut. The second cut, which I said would be pro problematic, was that when I made this cut, I did not... Let's actually, let's do it again. Um, minus and let's take plus, I want to cut this from here to here. And then I want to select this bottom curve, but I can't because somehow it, it's beneath this, um, this other curve here. So, okay, let's select this curve. Start and and this doesn't look very good. <laughs> so let's change the cut type to variable. Yes. And then we can change. I want to get rid of these. Uh, okay, let's use these. I can click on edit here. I want to use a point. And I want to use right click and point there. Then I want to select this, edit, point, end point, there. That looks a lot better. Close. Now I also want to make sure that I lift this up one step so that the cut order is this, this, and this. And I didn't have to make any changes to the last cut. So there we go. Here it is. The curves model. Catch you in the next one.